Hey, what's up everybody? 3D Theory here. Today is August 24th, 2024. It is 12.38 p.m. and this is vlog number 44. So I woke up this morning to find an empty spool and I needed to change out the filament for the Lazy Day tray. I was going to put in that last near empty spool of black filament, but I was kind of getting worried about potential failures or issues that might occur because there was already some weirdness happening here where it was actually closer to the print than yesterday as it was sliding over and making that funny noise. So I just decided let me go ahead and take the safe route and just use a brand new spool of PLA black and this will probably finish up with this spool here. Hopefully it doesn't go past this spool amount. I know the estimated amount was like a thousand some number i forgot exactly what it was but hopefully i don't have to uh, open another spool and this will just print out just fine now i do want to mention that this lazy day tray with having that bowl in there and by the way if you guys are new here i talk about this in my previous vlog yesterday's vlog so if you guys want to know a little bit more in depth about it make sure to check that vlog out but there's a bowl here and uh, i intend on testing this thing out maybe filling it with popcorn and eating out of it but i'm going to do my best to eat the popcorn that doesn't touch the pla this isn't food grade pla this is just a prototype i'm printing out so basically my intention with this was i would make one piece in one injection mold creating molds are really expensive anywhere from six to fifteen thousand for just the mold itself without having created any units so I figured I could make this cool product that will be able to be injection molded and it'll probably have to fit the contours of everything. Right now there's a base to it. That's why you're seeing all this infill. But in the final version, I'm not gonna have that. It's just gonna be uh, plastic about this thick, a plastic wall that basically makes everything and that way it can be really easily injection molded. But I honestly don't have a firm idea of where we're headed with this. That was kind of like the loose idea of what I wanted to do with it. But to get to where we are now, to a finished food grade injection molded plastic, uh, it's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of funding. So this maybe can be a fun project that you can see the beginning of all the way through to a completed product that's on the market. I don't know yet, no promises, but that's possible with this. It all depends on funding time frames, bandwidth, you name it. But other than that, we have a few things we're gonna take care of today. The room, the 3D printing room is pretty much looking the same as yesterday. Um, I do want to clean up these 3D printers. Um, I do need to lubricate printer one and printer four, the Y axis. And I'm gonna have to move this printer aside for a brief moment while I take photos of this and upload all these on Maker World, and I figured it'd be kind of fun to see that whole process. So we'll get that going. By the way, ah, nice coffee. By the way, it is 83.7 degrees Fahrenheit in the 3D printer room, and it is 42% humidity. Huh, that's quite a lot. But nonetheless, all this stuff you see here, the Sith throne designed by Ralph McCreary, originally for the original trilogy of Star Wars, but featured in uh, Star Wars Episode Nine, as well as the Vader throne from the Kenobi series, which uh, you can put your Apple AirPods there, as well as the Bo-Katan throne from Mandalorian Season 2, are all available for free on my Maker World to download and print. This is a makeshift phone. They're phone holders. So they're thrones for your phone. And they also have the ability to recline, so make sure to check those out. Also, green from Rainbow Friends is available there. And last but not least, the Stealth French side table is also available on my Make World for free. You just download it and print it and have fun. Nonetheless, I do have to kind of tidy up this place. I did show kind of my trash run in the past and I'm gonna do that again today because I got quite a few spools and boxes just taking up that area. I want to tidy up this place and uh, once we get that tidied up I'll go ahead and create some space for a photo booth 
I'm not sure if I'm going to use the photo booth just yet. If it's too buried under a bunch of stuff in the garage, then I'm just going to take a picture on the black surface here. I don't have dark prints. Maybe this would be considered dark in that, but I think it'll contrast nicely with the black background. Nonetheless, this is what I'm going to start with today. I don't know if you guys remember the last time I showed you. Here's our pretty much wagon. I call it my pickup truck. I think I named it Old Betsy last time. So here's Old Betsy. I pretty much load all that stuff on here and take it on to the front where the trash is at. I love this thing. I actually got this thing for like $35 in a thrift store. Probably one of the best $35 I've ever spent. guys so this is pretty much the trash we're gonna take out and recycle and I'll see you when we get back all right there you have it guys we clean up that area looking good I do have some extra boxes here and some uh, bags for uh, a purple one brown one and all these that you see over here and down here so there are still some extra ones that I kept and I do like to keep these bags from CC3D because it comes with a gel silica or silica gel and uh, also has a ziplock, so it's very useful. But nonetheless, I gotta now lubricate the Y axis guide rail, which I think I'm gonna do later because I'm kind of not looking forward to doing that right now. I wanna get this done. This is a lot more of a priority. I feel like I've been really putting off even uh, this here. This has been ready and printed for a while. So I'm gonna set up a space where I can take some photos for that and uh, upload it onto Maker World. All right, guys, so I didn't want to clear this area out. <laughs> I felt like it'll just be way too much unnecessary work. Work smart, not hard, as I always say, or as I've heard always said, and now I've adopted. Um, so I feel like this was the work smart, not hard way of doing all this. I have this in the garage, and uh, so I can set up the light box, which is in here, and I'll show you that in a moment and take some pictures in there be cool all right let's get this foldable led ring light studio taken out i've used this a couple of times it's pretty cool pretty interesting i forgot how much i paid for it but it's, it's on amazon if you guys are interested and so pretty much you just uh it's called Palu's photo light box and you just open it up like that and then uh, I think one thing folds up, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this here folds up. And there you have it. That'll stay open. And up top over here has a ring light. So it has a little, uh, little wire so you can plug it in. It doesn't come with a little you know, adapter here, so you got to have one of those. I'm just going to plug it in. I figured I'd plug it in. Uh, to where the uh, to where the 3d printers are plugged in so I think that'll work out just fine We just got to bring it a little closer. That is actually perfect there By the way here There's a little opening so you can open it and put your camera down and take shots this way as well, which is neat All right, so I got this thing plugged in I'm gonna turn that on so as you can see that's real cool you can raise the light brightness and uh, you could change the temperature so that's white I think that's a blend of white and orange somewhere in the middle and that's orange i like the blend of white and orange i forgot to also mention it comes with different colored backgrounds so uh for this case i'm just going to use plain old white so it's just one sheet here that has a black and a white side on its uh flip side so you just kind of pop that in there and there's a little 
strap in here that you just pull and um, pop that there. By the way, I bought this with my own money, so this isn't any sort of sponsored video or anything like that. I would mention it if it was, but indeed it's not. But nonetheless, we'll start out with uh, this silk, rainbow silk pen cup. That's looking pretty cool. Let's take a look at it from the top. And that's how it would look from the top. Very cool. <laughs> Maybe you can even take a picture like that, honestly. That doesn't look too bad either. Let's see, which one looks better? Huh. I don't know which one I like better. Yeah, we'll go with this one. We'll use it how it was intended on being used. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take pictures here. Uh, so I pretty much went ahead and I took all those pictures. And uh, they're ready to be uploaded to Maker World. By the way, if you're new here, you pretty much came into this channel uh, right when the production of my plates and latches has slowed down um, because we needed to print out 300 uh, sets and one set is left latch, right latch, left plate and right plate and uh, we've reached that now so you guys can check out some of the previous vlogs if you guys want to see it in full effect the uh, tiny 3D print farm of uh, 5 Bamboo Lab A1 3D printers and these are printed out in uh, gray PETG beautiful looking prints really love what these bamboo lab a1s can do just gorgeous and i use the ams light combo here for when i have near empty spools of gray petg filament that can't otherwise print out a full plate or a full latch on their own and i use the auto refill system so once one finishes during a print it'll just switch over to the next spool and finish off one plate completely or one latch completely and that's what we've got here so these are all done with multiple spools and sometimes you can kind of see the transition um, this one had it right there and it uh, looks like it had it somewhere else I think right there but other than that yeah these are great looking prints these machines do a wonderful job and it's looking really clean nonetheless these plates and latches are part to a larger product that I don't really talk about because these are the only parts that are 3d printed and this channel focuses on 3D printing. And I do want to mention also that the Stealth TV tray is still in progress. We're going to be working on that pretty soon, continuing the prototyping phase. We're waiting for some filament to come in. We're going to probably see some more filament towards the end of the month, beginning of next month. We've got a big batch coming in. But nonetheless, that about wraps it up for today's vlog. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, peace, love, and joy.